Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to my channel learn to teach so another video related to conditional statements in this video we are going to see the second type of conditional statement that is case of otherwise and case in the previous video we have seen if then else and if conditional statement now, now let me tell you the difference between these two Remember that in if, then, else, and if statement, we had only two choices. Either we need to run the code of then or either we have to run the code of else. But here, when you have several options, more than two, then you can use case of otherwise and case. Let me explain you a simple pseudocode here for the case of conditional statement. Look at here. I have taken this from your book. Just write down case of this is your keyword. And then here you will be writing the statement that you want to compare or you want to check. If it is a variable, you will be checking the value of the variable. You can use the comparison statements. You can use input of the user or you can use any Boolean variable, whatever. Boolean variables are usually used in if then else statements because they have only two values, either true or false. We don't use them here. But you can use a variable to check for values. In this example, grade is a variable in which there is something stored like A, B, C. Look at the values. Either grade has a value A Either it has a value B, either it has a value C, or it can never, maybe it is not having any value like A, B, C. So look at this, starting with A. If it has a value A, then this line will run. And you will see excellent on your screen, an output message. If it is having a value B, so this first line will not run it will go here and you will see output good good written on your screen and let's suppose if the value of c is present in the variable grade so neither this line will run neither this line will run you will see output average on your screen okay if there is no A, B or C inside grade and there is some grade F here. So neither this line will run. Then you will be moving towards otherwise output improvement is needed. If your choices, if your values are neither A, neither B, neither C, then remember that you have to go to the otherwise code and on the screen it is written improvement is needed and whenever there is case of you have to end it with end case after finishing your code okay this is a very simple example let's move towards another example for this conditional statement to make you clear about this topic here we go we will be understanding this pseudo code and we will do an activity 7.5 of your book okay let me quickly go into this pseudo code again you have case of which is a keyword you have choice choice is basically a variable here you need to check for the value inside choice okay let's see the choice is basically having the value one two three four let's suppose if it has a value one so this line is going to run what this line says it's an it's a basically assignment statement you are assigning some value to the variable answer let me write it here and what you are assigning to it you are assigning there is a mathematical operator that is working a plus sign between number one and number two. So it means that we have two variables, number one and another variable, number 
2 and there is some value inside it. Let's suppose the value is um, 10 and 5. So in the first case, if the choice has a value 1 in it, then number 1 and number 2 will be added, 10 and 5, and it will be 15 in your answer. So the answer will have a 15 value in it. And let's suppose if there is not 1 inside the choice, it is 2. So this line will not run. You will be moving here to the second line and inside answer, you will assign number 1 minus number 2. It means that now it will be 10 minus 5 and it will be 5. So inside answer, now the value will be 5. Subtraction is done. And if the choice is having a value 3, so now this will not run. It will go here. It will see 3. Yes, 3 matched with the value present in the choice. The statement, the code, this will run. Answer will be assigned a value number 1 multiplied by number 2. It means that the content inside number 1 will be multiplied with number 2 value. 10 into 5 is 50. So the value in answer will be assigned 50. And the final thing is if it is having the choice variable has a value 4. So this will not run. It will come here. It will see yes, 4 is matching with the value 4 inside the choice. So this is going to run. Answer will be assigned a value that is number 1 divided by number 2. It means 10 will be divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 will be 2. So the answer is going to have a value 2 here. So this is how this code is going to run. And finally, if there is no 1, 2, 3, 4 inside choice and there is some other number like maybe 6, so none of these lines will work. It will directly move towards otherwise and you will see please enter a valid choice on your screen and then whenever you use case of you have to end case like this with this keyboard this is a small program that will work like this now we will be doing an activity 7.5 here to make you understand this topic more clearly okay this activity says that use a case a statement to display the day of the week if the variable day has a whole number value between 1 and 7 so remember that there is a day variable which is going to have value between 1 to 7 or maybe it is not going to have any value from 1 to 7 so you will be printing an error message otherwise it's very easy. Just remember that we will use case of keyword at the first. Then we will be writing the variable that we need to check. That is day. Day can have the values from 1 to 7. Write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then what you have to do, you have to code it according to the value in the variable day. How can you do that? Just write down for 1, it will be output. It is Monday. Sorry for this notification. And then for 2, it will be output. It is Tuesday. For 3, you can use output, it is Wednesday. So in this way, you will be doing for all the 7 input values. It is Thursday, then the fifth one would be, it is Friday 
and then for 6 it would be an output message it is set a day and then for the 7th you will be printing it is Sunday and interesting thing is that if it is not 1 till 7 then you have to print an output message it means you will be using otherwise here if it is none out of this no number from 1 to 7 inside the variable day then you will print otherwise output you can just invalid number or you can say invalid day okay and then finally remember that whenever you start with case of you have to end case so write down end case at the last this is a small pseudo code for this particular activity 7.5 i hope that all the things are clear to you thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will be doing iterative statements stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe bye bye